What's up guys, it is the T-Ball and I am back with another video. Before I start, if you guys could hit that like button and subscribe for more NBA and Jeremy Lin videos. Your support is greatly appreciated and we are almost at 600 subscribers. So if you're not subbed, be sure to hit that sub button as we're trying to hit 600 subs before the start of the regular season. So also check out brook-lin.com for more Jeremy Lin and Brooklyn Nets articles. Uh, so today I'm going to be going over Jeremy Lin and the Brooklyn Nets versus the New York Knicks game number six of the preseason preview and prediction. So where to watch NBA TV. So I am pretty sure it's not going to be on net uh, yes and MSG because when there's games on NBA TV for New York teams, I'm pretty sure they black out like things from League Pass and um, the the New York you know the New York channels like MSG and you know yes. So where is the game located? Brooklyn at Barclays Center, 1 at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. So my uh, my predictions for the starting lineup for the 1-4 and four Nets, Jeremy Lin, Bohan Bogdanovich, Ronnie Hollis-Jefferson, Trevor Booker, and Brooke Lopez for the 2-2 two two Knicks. So by the way, this video is being recorded before the Knicks play the Celtics on Wednesday. So they might be 3-2, and 2-3 two, two and three before the start of the game. But uh, yeah, the Knicks will probably be starting Jennings, Lee, Anthony, Porzingis, and Joe Q. Noah. So some background, the Nets are trying to get a win after four straight losses. Being a Nets fan, I mean, this has been a, a pretty rough, uh, you know, couple games. But, you know, for all the Nets and Jeremy Lin fans out there, you have to understand that the starters have been only playing around 20 minutes a game with every every game. There's like two players, two key rotation players sitting out. So I wouldn't be too worried right now. And if you saw the Boston game on, uh, was it Monday, I'm pretty sure? The starters, almost all of them had a, a positive plus minus. So basically that means when the starters were playing, they were outscoring the opponent while the bench was just horrendous. Don't even get me started with them. That includes you, uh, Isaiah Whitehead. So he definitely needs to go to the D-League, but that's another story. So... Um, yeah, so expect a full lineup and close to regular season rotation and minute setup. So I'm predicting around, you know, 25 minutes a game for each of the starters or so, you know, somewhere around there. And, um, I think Bohan should definitely get a chance to start. I mean, he was killing it in the Olympics, averaging 25 a game. And the Nets have been starting Foy and Kilpatrick, which I both think should be on the bench. But, you know, that's, uh, that's arguable. So, Bohan, I mean, he did not play well in uh, the Boston game. He looked pretty, um, he had a terrible play at the end, I'm pretty sure. We, like, turned it over while trying to do some fancy dribbling. Um, so he should, you know, stop doing that. Just make good cuts, good cuts to get uh, open lay-ins, and make sure you're open for the open three-pointer, which I know he can hit. So, for the New York Knicks, will Derrick Rose play? Probably not, because, as you guys know, his whole, um, you know, rape case thing, I'm not going to get into that, but it's still an issue, and Rose still hasn't got many practices with the Knicks, as he's been having having to deal with that whole uh, court issue, so in my opinion, just, uh, you know, a quick little throw in, I do not think Rose will play too well with the Knicks, just after, you know, just thinking about it, I don't know, he just doesn't seem like a good fit with the Knicks, but uh, that's a whole other story as well, so I don't expect Rose to play, expect Jennings to start, so, I mean, Jennings is a pretty good, you know, point guard. I mean, after that whole, um, was it Achilles injury? I don't think he'll be, you know, starter level anymore, but, you know, we'll see how it is. So, my prediction is a 106-93 win for the Brooklyn Nets. So, a full rotation, expect Lynn to have a great game as long as he plays, you know, around 20-25 minutes. Because Lynn, in, like, getting, he's been getting only averaging like 20, 20 or so minutes per game, and his... His um, numbers are off the charts. Um, per 36 minutes, he's averaging somewhere around like 27 to 28 points, which is, you know, ridiculous with like 9 assists. So, you know, for I don't want to, you know, get all your guys' hopes up because, you know, I don't expect Lynn to average 27 and 9. Like, let's let's not be, uh, you know, get, get out of hand. I think Lynn could definitely average around 20 to 22 points with 7 assists. I mean, I think that's very fair. But um, I'm not sure about the assists because watching these guys, uh, the Nets play, I feel like they just miss open, open lay-ins, open threes. It's it's just not fun to watch uh, when guys are missing open shots. But I think Lin will definitely get at least his points. So um, yeah, so definitely if you're doing fantasy basketball, definitely try to try to get Lin. I mean, 
I do fantasy basketball, I will definitely be trying to get Lynn on my team. So, um, yeah, that's a wrap. So, oh, one more thing, just wanted not to mention, this is Lynn's first game against the Knicks in the Brooklyn Nets uniform. If you guys didn't know, Lynn did not play in the Nets' second preseason game where um, he missed it for rest. So, um, definitely going to be very exciting to watch. So, that's a wrap. Thanks guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick preview. Kind of kind of a more laid back preview. You know, just just relax a little bit. I mean it's the last preseason game, so you know, just enjoy it. And uh can't wait till the regular season starts for the Nets on the twenty sixth against the Boston Celtics. So can't wait for that. I'll definitely be back with a post game analysis video for Lynn and the Nets versus versus the Knicks. So definitely uh be on the lookout for that. So once again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Have a good one and peace.